This is Sarah from the customer success team at freeconference.com. This video is for participants. I'm just going to walk you through how to join an online meeting via internet from a Google Chrome browser. You can also join via internet using one of our apps. Um, the download links for those will be in the description of this video. And the process is very much the same. The organizer of the call should have given you a link or at least an access code. You can navigate to the freeconference.com website and paste that access code in here and then click join meeting or you can just paste that meeting link which you can now see here into your browser window. That's going to then take you to the next page where you can enter your name that you want displayed for everyone to see in the call. Uh, if you've already got an account and you're logged in, you won't see this page and it'll show the name that you have in your account. Then click on join conference and you'll see that you have the option to join via internet, via phone or to view only and not have audio connected. Um, you might have already called in via phone and you're on this page because you want to view a presentation, in which case you click view only. If maybe you are outside somewhere and you don't have a headset and it's a bit noisy, you can uh, choose to join via phone and then you'll see the call in details. And once you've phoned in, you can then click here to view the meeting room and it won't connect the audio from your computer. Otherwise, you just click on internet. Now, when you first do this, you'll be asked to allow access to your microphone. Make sure you click allow. And then if you're the first person in the call, you'll hear hold music. You will um, now enter the conference. Otherwise, you see there's already somebody else present. They've joined via computer as well. The name is Bob. Um, you'll see that you've got a few options here at the top. You can mute your line. Mute it. Or unmute your line. Um, you can raise your hand if you need to let the organizer know that you want to say something or ask a question. You've got a chat box here on the side where you can share documents and you can also see all the participants in the call. You can hide the participant tiles at the bottom by clicking on this icon. And then you can also enter full screen mode by clicking there. If you find that you're having technical difficulties, if people can't hear you or maybe see your video, then just click on settings. Um, you can go here to make sure the correct microphone is selected and the correct speaker's output. You can also play a test sound to make sure everything's working. And if you've got a second webcam, you can also, so that's really good to troubleshoot any issues you've got with um, devices. And there's also a connection test here. And if you click on that, it's a diagnostic test, so it will let you know um, if there's any issues and you can run through those steps. Just a few tips as well, uh, when you're joining via internet, try to close as many other programs you might have running in the background as possible that you don't need. Um, anything that's using your internet or even using up your computer's CPU or RAM, so if it's using up a lot of space on your computer, try and close those because um, that will impact the quality of your call. And if you're running into trouble and you do need assistance during a call you can easily click on in conference details a little eye icon and then click on support and there you'll find our answers to lots of different you can even search through our support articles here for example how to get rid of echo um, and also you can give us a call or submit a ticket even during the conference. So that's essentially uh, some of the most important information. If you do have any further questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us via our support center. You can just send us an email to support at freeconference.com. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.